So, what did God do for you yesterday? I got saved. You got saved? <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome. I'm the Word Nerd, and this is Counting the Cost Ministries. Today, I wanted to give you a testimony of my son. Um, so hopefully I'm going to have a little interview with him too. Um, but I wanted to kind of give the story. So, so I homeschool my kids and my son is six years old and his name is Jeremiah. And so this is his testimony. He got saved last night, May 5th, 2020. And I am super excited. And I just wanted to make this video. This video is going to be raw. It's going to be real and I don't think I'm going to edit it really at all. Um, so yeah, it's just, this is, this is what it is. So, um, so like I said, I homeschool my son and about eight o'clock last night, we were finishing up homeschool. I let my son pick what order of the subjects we do each day. Um, it kind of gives him a little sense of control and some days he wants to do some subjects first and others last and it, it just, you know, it's just fun for him. So anyway, so he p chose to do Bible last. And so we we're finishing up about eight o'clock last night. And normally what I do is I read him a story out of this children's Bible um, that I got. And then he draws a picture of what the story was about or so some aspect of that story. And we kind of talk about it while he does that. Um, so last night he just started asking a lot of questions. Now, I don't know and I can't remember really what order of everything that we talked about last night is, but I'm going to try to sum it up for you. So he just started asking questions and I was like, okay, just going to go with it. I'm going to give answers. And I mean, we talked from how the devil became the devil. We talked about Adam and Eve and how the devil tricked Eve and Adam and, you know, how the world is cursed now. We talked about um, heaven and hell. We talked good people and bad people and what it means to be good and bad. I mean, we t talked about even the lake of fire and what that was and stuff. And as we were talking about this, I saw my son getting emotional and he was, he even asked, he's like, why am I about to cry? And, um, so I was just like, well, sometimes God does that to show you something that maybe you need to do. And so we just kept on talking. He started to keep asking questions and, um, we were in the subject of, you know, good people and bad people that, cause we even talked about the day of judgment. He's like, what's the day of judgment? And I was like, well, that's the day that everyone's going to stand before God. And he's going to say, you know, come with me to heaven. If you were, you know, good or come or go away from me and go to hell or the like fire when you're bad. And that kind of sparked like, okay, well, that kind of is like who's good and who's bad and my son was like well I'm I'm good you know and I was like well well no I was like have you ever lied he's like yeah I've lied I was like well God says even liars won't go to heaven they'll go to hell and he started getting emotional and stuff and I was like okay but it's okay but do you remember what happened you know what God did to uh help that and so I started giving the gospel, like Jesus died for you. He shed his blood for you. He paid for that. Um, you know, he, his blood pays for your lying. So you don't have to pay for it and stuff like that. I mean, we just kept talking and I was like, all you have to do is repent. And he's like, what's repent? And I was like, oh my gosh, how can I explain repent to a six year old? I mean, like they don't understand words as an adult does. And so I was like, well, that just means that you ask for forgiveness and you don't want to do those things anymore. Instead, you want to follow Jesus. And I was like, all you have to do is pray for, ask for forgiveness and say that you don't want to follow those things, that you're sorry for being bad and that you want to be good and you want to follow him and do his will um, from now on. And he was like, okay, let's pray right now. And he was like getting emotional. Let's pray right now, mommy. I was like, he's like, will you help me pray? And I was like, yeah, I'll help you pray. And so we're sitting in our homeschool room. And so they have a desk and he was sitting on one side and I was sitting directly across from it. And he like reached for my hand. So I grabbed his hand. So we're just like holding hands. And he said, put one hand up, mommy. And so I'm sitting here holding his hand and put one hand up and he does the same thing. And so I kind of just lead him in a prayer, you know, um, Jesus, I ask for forgiveness. I can't remember the exact prayer, you know, but I ask for forgiveness. I'm sorry for being bad. Um, save me. Um, you know, live inside of my heart. Let come into my life. 
Um, you know, I repent. Um, uh, help me to follow you and do your will and do what you want me to do and obey you and do good and stuff. And it was just like a really short prayer, but I tried to incorporate everything. But in the moment, I'm not... <laughs> not exactly sure it was an emotional moment for me too um so so after that I was like you you know what just happened and he was like he was just like he was more happy and more excited and I was like you just got saved God just saved you and he was super excited yeah I just got saved and I was like let's go tell daddy so we went and my husband was in another room and we went and I was like babe uh, Jeremiah has something he really, really important to tell you. And he goes, okay. And he's like kind of working on something. And Jeremiah said, I got saved by God. And my husband looked at me and was like, what? And he's like smiling a little bit. I was like, yeah, he really did. And then that's when I lost it. There's just tears, just, just, it was all a mess. And I, was, I told my husband the same thing, kind of like I'm telling you. And oh, last night was an emotional night, but in a good way. <laughs> So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll have like a little interview of him too. Probably, I think that's the only thing that I'll edit is kind of putting him maybe in the front and also behind this kind of story. But I just wanted to share it with you guys because I hope that it touches you in this crazy chaotic thing that we're going through worldwide, you know, and, um, it really blesses somebody and touches someone and, because God is still in control. God is still good and he is still saving people, even children. So yeah, it's something I've prayed for since my babies have been born. And it's just, I'm ecstatic that I was able to be the one to lead him in prayer and answer his questions and everything like that. So I'm super excited. So, so um, how do you feel now that you've gotten saved, that God saved you? Dead. Good? And you were sad this stupid. Because was you emotional? Yeah. Yeah? Why was you emotional? Do you know? Because Mommy told me about hell. About hell? Yeah. Mommy told me about hell. You were emotional? You didn't want to go to hell? Yes, that's why. Yeah. Um, And also, I I heard Mommy, there's a gate of fire. There's fire in hell. Yeah, there's a yate of it, like but it's, you don't in it, but you don't you burn, but you don't never die. Yeah, but what about heaven? Heaven, you don't know in the air fire because there's no even the air fire there. Right. So what? Who's in heaven? God. God. Right. So, do you want to be with God? Yes. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Do you love Jesus that he saved you? Yes. So, you was bad, right? And that's yeah. why you needed Jesus? Yes. You was bad? Yes. Uh, I be bad, so I died the other time. Yeah. But, um, but uh, now, Jesus paid for your lying, right? Uh. So, are you happy about that? Yes. So... Now, if you now, where will you go? That you will go to G- heaven or hell. He- heaven. Heaven. Good job. Are you excited to see heaven? Yes. I don't even know what the inside. I don't think anyone knows. All right. So, anything you want to tell people before we end the video? <laughs> I love everybody has lots in it. Oh, that's good. Oh, you did the same too. <laughs> and bye-bye. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that, you know, you get some kind of blessing out of this testimony. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.